what's up guys i am mayank and today we will be creating our first tutorial on augmented reality uh, this will be a very basic tutorial so after that i will be incorporating speech recognition and augmented reality in my upcoming tutorials so let us create our new project in unity we name it ar project so in the meanwhile let us download the euphoria sdk so that will provide the augmented reality support objective uh, so uh, using euphoria we try to project a 3d object on a target image so for that we can register uh, because we will be requiring the tokens that we have to enter so after login in so after login uh, we can download the sdk for unity so first the sdk is download we can import in unity editor using import packages and custom packages and we will select the euphoria package and once the sdk is getting loaded we will select all and import So here we have all the targets uh, in prefabs, sorry prefabs, so we can use image target or multiple image targets, object target, so beside this we will be requiring target pattern, so for that we will go to develop and then firstly we will generate a key, license key for the application we will go development and put the app name that is AR project and then once we confirm it so we have created our license key for the application which we have to enter so here we have drag and drop the AR camera and then here we will be adding our key license key in configuration settings now we go to car target manager and then here we will create a image target database so we get that pattern on which the 3d object has to be projected now we will be adding a target image so we will select one image try to select a very good target here i am using this target which have a distinctive feature and then i set the width 15 and you can give it a name you can even add ma many more uh, images so this uh, now we download this database file in the unity editor here we get our target database 
now we go to assets custom package and then we selected this our target image unity package once it get import now we, we can see the data sets uh, under data set you can see our target image we have to activate it we go to prefab folder and drag and drop up image target prefab there now you can see automatically our target image name it, it is there now the image is not visible just because in some version of unity we can see the images but here we require speech recognition uh, we require windows 10 and unity 5.5 so in that there is a issue with this we also enable the smart train oh sorry the extended reality option if we enable the extended reality feature we will be able to remove the pattern and still our 3d object will be available for interaction so this is it now we add our 3d object that we will be importing so it can be projected on that image target right now it is not having texture this is our character golem and we will uh, add the texture to our character just drag and drop the texture i have used a fbx format for this character so that i got all the animations also but like this now we create one material for our character select the texture in albedo and then drag and drop over material on column so now we will increase the size according to the target image so we can see it distinctly distinctively uh, here we are I'm dragging and dropping the golem this we forgot previously so now quickly i am also adding the animation to the character right now there is no state uh, in the characters so under our fbx we have uh, multiple animations so we are dragging the a simple idle animation this will act as a state and just we want to loop this continuously so we will create a empty state so that it will I, we can loop this animation we will create a transition we will right click and create a transition and then back to the ideal state we can go to android and i can go to add open scenes that is our saved scene and then go to player settings and change this name to whatever name you want to change it and now you can build it and directly it will run in your android or ios phone in debug mode uh, so that you can push the apk file in your android phone so i am directly using my uh, laptop cam to directly demonstrate this app. So we are ready to test our first augmented reality based application. We hit start. So here we have our image target. We can even rotate the character in the unity editor. So it will appear in this posture. This is column. And uh, 
since we have enabled the extended reality we can uh, remove the image target and still we have the character now we can interact with our character so shortly i will be coming up with my speech recognition uh, tutorials where we can interact with this character uh, hope you liked my video please do like share comment subscribe so that i can come up with more technical stuff for you guys thank you for watching this video